lies one day at a time. Kimmy Kim and Elation's Radio. They're here to get your day going fine. Kimmy Kim and Elation's Radio. Kimmy Kim and Elation's Radio. Kimmy Kim and Elation's Radio. And here's your host. Miss Kim Robinson. Hey. Cruising in the wheel, feeling all right. Turn up, I'm rushing back to red light. Getting lost in my praise, but I'm too high. The lights turn green, now they honking, they'll be all right. Cruising in the wheel, feeling all right. Turn up, I'm rushing back to red light. Getting lost in my praise, but I'm too high. The lights turn green, now they honking, they'll be all right. They be trying to put the hoses to my fire. They don't understand why I be praising my Messiah. Sounded like a church in my car with no choir. The windows roll down, turn it up a little higher. When I'm in the spirit, I be feeling transformed. Want me turn it down, saying no to lukewarm. God say do it better, do it been warned. Baptize my renewed, feeling reborn. I know there's a lot that don't like how I do things. They be trying to take me down, trying new things. They don't understand I got protection from the true king. There's a cross on my back that I must clean. Send the praise to the heaven like it's fireworks. Yeah. Everybody want the chorus, how the body works. Woo. Sunday night, praising God till the body hurts. Yeah. Giving honor to the Father for his mighty works. Yeah. If you're looking for a reason, I can give you one. Think about a battle that you shouldn't have won. If you woke up in the morning, there's another one. If I was you, I would give praise to the Holy One. God gave me joy so the world can't take it. Riding on the boat, sending away, trying to shake it. Aiming for my faith on the daily, trying to break it. Real fruits from the vine, can't fake it. Cruising in the wheel, feeling all right. Turn up, I'm rushing back to red light. Getting lost in my praise, but I'm too high. The lights turn green, now they honking, they'll be all right. Cruising in the wheel, feeling all right. Turn up, I'm rushing back to red light. Getting lost in the praise, but I'm too high. The lights turn green, now they honking, they'll be all right. I just do what's required, this ain't my ways Wait a minute, why they looking at me sideways? All the shade rolling in like a tidal wave I just learned to turn it up on them highways Going through, praise God, just forget the hurt Praising God where the seeds that be in the dirt Got my worship on high on the way to work Hey, swerving in my challenger, skirt, skirt Gotta even learn to do it in the bad times Broken heart even in the sad times You can change the game around before it's even half time Put the enemy to sleep before it's nap time The God I praise hold all the power FP and L ain't got nothing on this tower He can bring them lights any minute, any hour He the one that turn your seed, homie, to a flower Thank God for the tents when them windows up I be crying like a baby for a sippy cup Tears rolling down my face, begging God to lift me up Had a bad day, that's a good pick me up Thank God for the tents when the windows up I be crying like a baby for a sippy cup because, hey, tears rolling down my face, begging God to lift me up. Had a bad day, boy, that's a good pick me up. Cruising in the wheel, feeling all right. Turn up, I'm worship at the red light. Getting lost in my praise, but I'm too high. The light turn green, now they honking, they'll be all right. Cruising in the wheel, feeling all right. Turn up, I'm worship at the red light. Getting lost in my praise, but I'm too high. The light turn green, now they honking, they'll be all right. Amen, 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 amen. This is your host, Calvin Lowe, with the Logan Power Show, nationwide, worldwide. Uh, it's a blessed and glorious time here in the Word uh, that we are just with you right now. Father, we just thank you and praise you for what's about to happen. Hey, it's a blessed time we have here. It's June the 4th, 2020. Boy, I tell you, God is good. God is good. I promise you, God is good. But before we before we go on to our topics and get some things rolling here, I uh, just want to give you words of encouragement. Before we do that and get into this portion of this encouragement time in the Word, let's go into prayer. Father, we thank you for the Father's opportunities to be in your presence. We thank you for your wills being done both now and forever. 
We thank you, Father, this is the day that you have made. We rejoice and be glad in it. Father, we are the head, not the tail. We are above and not beneath. And, Father, Father, we just thank you and praise you, and we give you all honor and glory in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. All right. Well, it's it's June the 4th, 2020. I know a lot of things are going on across the globe. Uh, the nation is is in an uproar, and definitely there's a time for the real righteous to really just stand up and stop being, being like I said, being mute. It's time for us to get into the fight. Uh, Miss Kimmy Kim, if you can hear me, um, if you'd like to speak up, hey, definitely. This time we can like say something. If you if you want to say anything, uh, let me know. Uh, always want to hear what, what my good friend Miss Kimmy Kim got to say. Uh, but this is the time where I, where I want the body of Christ uh, for us to really stand up right now. I really do. I really want us want us to right now to. To like literally to focus on what we need to get done. I want us to. I want you always all to know that we can. We can succeed when we put God first. I'm gonna say that to y'all. We can succeed when we put God first. But we will. But we will. But we cannot succeed when we don't put God first. Because God is who we need. God is who we need. Without God, we can't make it. I'm being straightforward with you. Without God, we can't make it. We have to start speaking in a righteous type of verbiage with no hesitation. Because a lot of our verbiage that we're coming out with, we are saying things that are counteractive to the body of Christ. We have to stop being counteractive and be more productive. That's what we got to do. We have to make sure that we are making a better way of doing things. Because right now we're not doing a great job in the body of Christ. This is my personal take. I think we can do a lot more. Uh, I think we're set, cutting ourselves short in how we deliver the message of Jesus Christ. We can do a lot better on how we are working together. So I want you to understand that we we can do a lot better. Um we need to do better than how we're doing things. This is what we talk about. So I want us all to understand that we can make a difference. Um, Because what happened to Mr. George Floyd, let's be honest, it could happen, it could happen anywhere. The situation that's going on across the United States where people are standing up for righteousness sake it's been going on for centuries. And the question that people always ask, when, is, when will it stop? When will it become a situation that we can actually make a difference? And I tell you when it, when it can stop. It makes it stop when you pass laws that will make a difference. It, it will stop when a couple things happen. When the body of Christ doesn't sit around and we take no for an answer. When people take no for an answer, when they say, like, you know what? I want to see good things happen to us. I want to see us make a difference. I don't want to see us fail. I don't want to see us make the same mistakes others are making. So I want us to, to, to basically change the hands of time.
I want us to make a difference. I want us to, to actually let's try to change things right now. I want us to baby to to let us let us actually do what God tells us to do. I want us to also to to know that God is going to make a difference for us. But the only way he can make a difference for us is when we speak up. We got to speak up. We got to be able to make a difference. We got to be able to understand that, hey, to God I live and to God I die. Because some of us are missing it. We're missing the mark. We're missing our true calling. We're missing our true calling. We are missing our true calling. We are missing what God has in store for us. Injustice in this country, it's going to happen all the time. It's going to continue to happen until we pass legislative laws. Until you, you guys stop looking at the President of the United States, it's, it's, it's those senators you have, those House of Representatives, those are the ones where the bills get passed by. It's not the executive, it's the legislative. Remember, it's executive, legislative, judicial. Executive can say all day long, I, you know, I, everyone who's wearing blue can get a tax credit. The legislature say, well, you know, that's got to go through us. That's why it's so imperative. Those city council members, that, that county council, those mayors that you put in place, those governors, the ones that abide by the law, the ones who put things and funnel it through, we're letting stuff go by the wayside. It's important to vote. Voting is key. You should be out there voting. Next week, I know in South Carolina, June the 9th, 2020, pivotal time for us. Primary. I don't care about you say, well, man, Calvin, you know, I'm not going to vote because voting doesn't matter. That's the, that is the deception that people put out there. That's the deception that people put out there. They'll tell you it doesn't matter, but it does matter. It does matter. It does matter. It does matter. It does matter what we do here. We got to make a difference, y'all. We got to make a difference. We can't sit around here and say, man, I ain't going to vote. You got to vote. You got to vote, y'all. You got to make a difference right now. Don't sit there and be petty with stuff. Trust the Lord. Trust the Lord. Trust the Lord. Trust me. Trust the Lord. Trust the Lord, y'all. You have to trust the Lord. So, I want us all to understand this. That we're going to have to make a difference. We're going to have to stand for righteousness. If we don't stand for righteousness, sake, we're not going to make it, y'all. So, I just want you to put that into your thoughts. No voting is next week. Don't sit around there and play 
and play games with it. Trust God. He'll get you through it. And we'll be blessed by putting him first. So I'm excited what God's getting ready to do. You should be excited as well. And we're going to move forward. We're going to be strong on next week. I know I'm voting for some people in my end, get some things from my people together. So, but I just want to let you know, give some words of encouragement. Trust God. If it's time for you to march, march. If you want to fight them, fight them at the polls. If you're going to fight them, fight for legislation. If you're going to fight them, march. March for righteousness. Protest. Protest not just be marching around the streets. Protest with your money. Protest with your community. Protest in regards to what you see going on. Let's make a difference. That's what it is. Financial protest is how you're going to do it. How do you think the bus boycott stopped? When people said, I'm not getting on the bu- that bus anymore. Because they're not, spe- they're, not, they're not doing what I'm supposed to be done. The boycott in Birmingham did not happen until we, people that looked like us, said, hey, I'm not getting on that bus anymore. So I want to trust God, and that's all the time I got. My name is Calvin of the Logan Power Show nationwide, worldwide. Definitely appreciate you. We love you. Sign us out. And we'll see y'all next week, fired up and ready to go. I'm flexed up 